everyone, this is Laura from the Michigan Assistive Technology Program. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and staying healthy. Um, this is my first attempt at a video blog, so I hope you'll bear with me. Today on this blog, I'm going to be going through a few of the things that you can do with the Amazon's Alexa, specifically related to um, the situation that we find ourselves in with staying home and staying safe. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Amazon's Alexa, um, this is one example. This is called the uh, Amazon Echo. Um, it's one of the original devices that Amazon came out with. There's also the Echo Dot, which is a smaller version, um, a smaller speaker, and it's also cheaper. Um, there's also the uh, Echo Show, which has a video screen on it um, and is helpful for making video calls and doing things like that. Uh, there are a couple other devices that Amazon has related to Alexa um, that you can do all sorts of things with and I will have more links to this in the written blog that, go, that accompanies this video. So, um, right now I have my Alexa on mute. Um, there's a button on the top and you can see this red ring is glowing. Um, if you have an Alexa device, I might recommend that you mute it right now because it will respond anytime you say the word Alexa. And even if it's my voice hearing it over the video, um, I would hate to trigger your devices. So, um, one of the first things I want to show you is just a simple little thing that I discovered and it's related to something that we do every day and that we are being reminded to do, um, especially during this time. So something interesting happens when I ask Alexa to sing a song for 20 seconds and let's see what happens. Alexa, sing a song for 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. Wash your hands, everybody. Everybody, wash your hands. So here's a song, sing along. Tell germs nope, grab the soap. Make soap bubbles on the double. Halfway there, give a mean stare to all the germs. Make them squirm, say goodbye, don't be shy. Rub a dub, give a good scrub. Suds a plenty, now you're at 20. So that's just a cute thing um, that Alexa can help with with washing your hands. Um, I know for me, I'm always second guessing myself, did I wash my hands long enough? Um, and this is great for kids or, or anybody really. Um, I know that a lot of us now that we're spending more time at home are also cooking at home more often. And Jen has done some great blogs on AT for the Kitchen. And I have discovered um, that Amazon Alexa has quite a few skills related to um, cooking that you can take advantage of. And I'm going to use one. Um, that is connected to the website All Recipes. So um, I will show you that skill now. Alexa, show me how to make mac and cheese on All Recipes. Okay, for mac and cheese from All Recipes, I recommend old fashioned mac and cheese, one hour, five minutes to make. What would you like? Start recipe, send it to your phone, or here next recipe. Send it to my phone. Okay, sent. To hear the instructions step by step, just ask me to start your recipe. Start my recipe. Alexa, start my recipe. Old fashioned mac and cheese from all recipes. There are nine ingredients. Would you like to gather ingredients or hear the instructions? Hear the instructions. Step one, preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. When you're ready, say repeat or next step. Next step. Alexa, next step. Step two, prepare the elbow macaroni according to package directions. So you get the idea. Um, so you'll notice a couple things when we went through that. First of all, you can ask Alexa to send it to your phone so you have the written recipe in front of you as a text message, as well as her um, repeating the steps for the recipe. And inadvertently, I also showed you 
that Alexa is imperfect and when we were trying to go to next steps, um, sometimes she wouldn't respond when I said next steps and you had to say, Alexa, next step. Um, so sometimes it's helpful to just kind of start the command over. I know that since we've been at home um, and with what's been going on around us with the coronavirus spreading, um, a lot of us have experienced more anxiety and have had to think about different ways of um, utilizing our self-care and taking care of our mental health. And so I'm gonna ask Alexa to help me with a meditation. Alexa, start five minute meditation. Welcome to five minute meditation. This five minute meditation can reduce nervousness before events, such as interviews, beginning a new job or school, or dealing with everyday stressful situations, or just whenever you want to feel calm. To begin, sit on a chair with your feet on the floor. Inhale through your nose to the count of four, then exhale through your mouth to the count of two. Do this several times. Alexa, off. Thanks for listening. So I'm not gonna go through the entire meditation, but you can just see it's a way to kind of take a break, check in with yourself, and have some guided instruction through breathing. Um, so another thing that we aren't able to do right now is go to gyms and um, other activities um, for exercise. So I was curious what Alexa had related to being able to do exercise, specifically in a wheelchair. And I was surprised when I found actually a skill for this. So let's give this one a try. Alexa, open my chair exercise. Welcome to chair exercise. Your chair exercise is beginning. Hello, my name is Allison and welcome to your chair exercise. Chair exercises can help you improve your mood and cardio fitness. I'm happy you're here. Kudos for showing up. Remember, always consult your doctor before performing any physical activity. If any exercises start to hurt, please stop. Find a flat back chair, preferably one without arms. The chair should allow you to have both feet flat on the floor. I will give you a few moments to have a seat and get comfortable. Alexa. Alexa, off. Come back tomorrow to work out. Just say, Alexa, open my chair exercise to open the skill again. So again, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, but you can see that it would take you through um, some exercises that you can do from a chair. And I think that's um, really cool because it's not very often that you find um, chair exercises integrated into everyday technology. Finally, I want to show you one last skill, skill that might not seem important, but um, could be very important if you find yourself in a situation where you're not able to use your phone or um, can't manipulate your phone using your hands, um, especially if you might be sick during this time or um, if your disability prevents you from doing so. So here's just one example. Alexa? Mm -hmm. Call the Michigan Coronavirus Hotline. There is a Michigan Coronavirus Helpline. Do you want to call that one? No. So of course I don't want to call the hotline. Thankfully I'm not sick. But this is just an example that Alexa can call a phone number even if you can't uh, manipulate your phone. I've been in situations where I've been in bed, my phone has fallen off the floor, I need assistance to get in and out of bed. So it's like, how do I call an attendant or somebody to tell them that I need to get out of bed? I can use Alexa and say, 
call my husband and he can come in. So those are just a few things that you can do with Alexa um, during this time where we're staying home and staying safe. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you check out the blog with more resources and please let me know if there's other topics that you would like to see. Um, thanks, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.